What's going on champs and champettes, it's FireMonkey here and welcome back to another YouTube video. Now I know this one's a little bit later than normal, that's mainly just because, well, I didn't get motivated to really make the video until a little bit later, but hey, it's still a video so enjoy it. Anyways, in today's video I'm going to be talking about my history trying to motivate my friends to start YouTube channels. Some of them got motivated just from seeing that I did YouTube myself, however we'll be talking about why these people with their minds are of doing YouTube are failing and I guess some little bit of advice throughout so let's basically start this off by talking about why I motivate some people to do YouTube so obviously I've done YouTube for a long long time for those who don't know I joined the platform back in 2009 or at least that's when I tried to start making videos and just to kind of give you guys a glimpse into 2009 fire monkey I had a webcam but no microphone I had bandy cam which had that giant watermark over the top so I was as scuffed as scuffed could get. I don't even know how you get a webcam that doesn't have a mic built in, especially since it was a laptop that I was using. So I've definitely been on the platform for quite some time and I've seen it change and evolve over the years. Now something I have recently been getting better at and something that I continue to learn more about is simply put making YouTube videos, making content and learning how to actually put some little spice into it with the uh, Fortnite channel for example I've been adding a lot more edits, a lot more pizzazz to it just to make it a little bit more personal, a little bit more unique I would say, but overall I've been learning over time and I continue to learn today even though I've been on this platform for pretty much my whole entire life literally now since I do YouTube it's something that I have to talk about a lot because well that's pretty much the important thing about me it's like I play video games and I make YouTube videos <laughs> except now I can be like I play video games make YouTube videos and data mine video games so I guess I'm learning a little bit more on how to be a bit more fancy out there but obviously since I talk about YouTube a lot, sometimes it makes people interested in starting their own YouTube channels. And now here is something I have realized from my IRL friends back in when I was in like high school. They would start a YouTube channel, they would post a few videos, and the videos may or may not do very good. Now, a lot of these videos they were posting were very scuffed, and hey, it's fine to start off your channel with some scuffed videos. Definitely, it's actually kind of cool to start it off with some worse than normal videos, because down the line, when you're ever popular, if you ever do get popular on YouTube, you're gonna be like, yeah, I remember filming on my iPod Nano or whatever it may be. And, the, you know, they won't see that much growth on their channel because, of course, they're not. It's their first few videos on the platform, and you're not going to be getting that much growth, especially if you don't have thumbnails, especially if it's just, like, a normal generic title, there are no tags. If there's nothing of that sort, of course, your video's not going to be found out that easily. And, uh, obviously, you don't want to do stuff such as sub for sub or advertising because it just gives you inactive subscribers most of the time. But the reason I want to mention that, oh, hey, their view videos are obviously aren't getting them any views is because well they quit they some of the people at least the people from my high school how it would work is they would start a youtube channel they wouldn't see growth within the first like two or three videos they created so they gave up they a lot of people just think youtube is going to be an easy way for them to hop on make money hop off you know uh, easy way for them just get fame when in reality it you might uh, by some luck of the imagination some stroke of the imagination get lucky enough to just blow up out of absolutely nowhere but in YouTube, you should not expect instant fame. It's going to take time, it's going to take dedication, and you're going to have to continue making content because in reality, here's what the YouTube game is kind of like from what I've understood and uh, how I understand it. Think of every YouTube video you post as a like lottery ticket. Obviously, there's going to be some videos that don't do good, but every so often, you're going to get that one video that does really good and helps promote your whole entire channel. For example, on this channel, you've kind of seen some of those lottery lottery ticket-esque videos such as the Ohm Wrecker video and the Call Me Carson video. Those ended up getting way more attention than my normal YouTube videos on this channel which only used to get around 300 views but now seem to start getting a little bit of a higher view count getting into like the 700s and 800. And that's really what you have to do. Obviously you can't just post a video hope that it's the perfect winning lottery ticket and get away be starred you have all these millions of followers instantly. No, it takes dedication, it requires multiple videos becoming that lucky lottery ticket number that gets more views 
views than normal because those videos, those videos that accidentally blow up even if you weren't planning on it, and if you do plan on a video blowing up and it does, that's really cool, you're pretty smart for pulling it off. But you gotta continue just making videos, and this is what I'll see, sometimes someone will get that lottery ticket video and then the videos after it will show as their worst video out of the 10 top videos they've posted recently. This it can be demotivating, sure, but you gotta put keep in mind that the video that is very popular is popular because it was that lucky video that ended up blowing up, and sometimes you may not get the lucky video for like 100 videos, 3000 videos, whatever it may be, but you can't stop making content. Always look at your content, and this is a mindset I kind of have with my own content. Would this be something I watch, or personally, would this be something I listen to in the background? And ironically enough, sometimes I do put my own videos on in the background. It's not because I like my voice or anything. In fact, whenever I see someone else like in the same room as me, or same house or whatever it may be, same building, watching one of my videos and I can hear my own voice, I get, get away from that area because it just feels awkward here my voice um, being watched by someone I know IRL but at the same time if I'm just in my room wanting something for background audio my video is pretty good to listen to and the reality of this is just don't give up on YouTube for, per, for me personally even though I have this massive following on the Fortnite YouTube channel with 126,000 subscribers I'm still doing YouTube for the fun of it Obviously, YouTube is going to be a way for people like me to make money, it's a way for us to monetize ourselves, and personally, I withdrew from college to do YouTube full time. But at the same time, I'm still going to continue doing YouTube and Twitter and all this glorious stuff because I personally enjoy it. And I think you guys should have this mindset if you're starting your own YouTube channel. Don't do it for numbers, don't do it for subscriber counts, views, money, anything. Do it because you enjoy the content you're creating, and personally, if you were to take my advice to heart, make content that you're going to want to make. The Fortnite channel obviously is a news related channel to Fortnite, I'm just going to talk about Fortnite related topics there, however on this channel, I'm making the type of content that I've always wanted to really make outside of Fortnite. I love Fortnite content, but sometimes I want to just make videos ranting about whatever I'm mad about, or as you guys have seen recently, I've done a few story time videos, one about my mini fridge which recently had an issue, and then one about me accidentally buying my own Christmas gift that my dad was going to buy me a few days before Christmas actually even happened. So this page, this YouTube channel, even though it's way smaller than my Fortnite stuff, it's in reality my passion project. Both channels are, both Twitter accounts are, but this one is more of just, hey, you're finally free to go out in the wild and make your own experimental content, and that's what I'm going to continue to do. I'm going to continue making these commentary type videos and experimenting with, oh hey, this video worked, let me see what was good about it that I can replicate in other videos, and oh hey, this video isn't doing too hot. Was it because of the topic? Is there anything in the editing that needed changed? Let me read the comments. Let me look through here and see how I can improve that channel. So overall, personally, I'm a very analytical person. If you ask any of my friends like Rexium, G Matrix Games, even Matt, they'll tell you that I'm talking about like YouTube analytics all the time, being like, oh hey, this video is ranked like this, these tags are doing really well, anything of that sort, just because, you know, analytics are something that I've grown to indulge in on YouTube since that's the way I grow these channels. But in reality, the point of this video is just to say, if you start YouTube, if you start a YouTube channel, or your friends are starting a YouTube channel, whatever it may be, don't end up like my friends who simply put, quit after like, five videos they make because they weren't doing any good. And now, I have a few friends, such as Rexium and Matt, who I'll constantly ask them every few days, being like, hey, so when's the new video coming out? And that's not even really me trying to, you know, force them to make a YouTube video. It's more of me trying to get them into that YouTube mindset of, oh hey, if I was to make a YouTube video, what do I want to talk about? And I'm pretty sure that at least Matt's going to watch this video. So my message to YouTube specifically, and anyone who's watching this video could use this message if they really wanted to, go out there, make what you want to talk about. Personally for me, if I, like sometimes I'll take a day or two off of this channel if I don't see anything I want to talk about, but I will find something to talk about and it may I don't care about if it gets views if it doesn't get views 
I'm just gonna talk about it because I enjoy the topic. So what are you waiting for? Just get out there, start working on your own content, and start growing your own followers. I, especially for Matt and Rexium, I know you two have some untapped potential that you could be putting into your YouTube channel, and once that potential gets seen by others, you could definitely make it somewhere on the platform. It's just a matter of getting on the YouTube grind, and obviously, even though I'm saying, hey, make videos, I do want to mention, don't make a video like 24 seven just because you think, oh, I need to try getting a new lottery ticket out there. Because in reality, YouTube burnout is a real thing where people focus on YouTube way too much. They grind at daily videos nonstop. And I guess that could kind of be seen of what I'm doing, but it leads to burnout where they just don't want to make videos in general. For me personally, even though I'm doing daily videos, it's still a passion project to me. It's just still my passion, my hobby. It's fun to me, so I'm fine with doing daily videos, but I know I've been spending some extra time with family because before, around a year ago, I would just no life YouTube, Twitter, making sure I posted all of the littlest bits of Fortnite information, putting aside like 12 hours a day just to look at the Fortnite files. And you gotta find this balance between, oh hey, here is the um, my, my YouTube passion and here is my real life because you don't want to just go super hard into YouTube where you're not caring about literally anything else around you. You got to find a balance while also still just trying to make content that you enjoy and you hope other people will enjoy. And I know this video is all over the place, you know, I'm talking about a million different topics at once, lottery tickets, enjoyment, all this other stuff. But what I gotta say is this, the reason why it's all over the place is because I enjoy YouTube, I enjoy this topic, and it kinda sucks to see when I have these friends who definitely could get a following on YouTube if they tried hard enough, if they, you know, started interest, like putting more interest into, oh hey, does this thumbnail look good on YouTube, does this description, this title, does it all fit well, are my tags good? and they just post a few videos and then give up because they never got that much attention at all. And I will still try to push my friends who, you know, are doing YouTube or starting to do YouTube, and if they need a push in followers and I see a potential in them growing, I'm going to try hyping up their channel and you're getting people to subscribe to them. But at the same time, I can't be the reason your channel does what it does. You have to put your own like efforts into a channel because I am not going to try carrying someone else's stuff through the dirt, through into the sky, when that is their business, technically. That is their branding. I just want to put this video out there because uh, personally just saying this, I feel like it helped me just kind of ramble on about this geeky YouTube stuff I love, but at the same time, you, there, there is a group for everyone on YouTube. There's literally people who have a following for, like, smoking cigarettes. I'm not even joking. There's a following for anything. So you just gotta get out there. You just gotta make content you enjoy and you wanna talk about. And let the growth happen naturally. Sure, collabs may help you or whatever, but still, just, you've gotta put the effort into it to kickstart your career on YouTube if that's something you want to do. So let's quickly kind of recap my bits of just talking in this video and shorten down what I'm getting at. So for starters, let me mention the beginning points of this video. I don't even really remember them, but I'm just going to try going through what I was getting at. I've tried motivating and helping my friends who want to start YouTube channels start their YouTube channels. However, there's people who think, oh, hey, my first 10, 15, 30 videos I make, they see that they're not doing good, and it could be because of multiple things. It could just be because the content's low quality. It could be because no titles, no thumbnails, whatever it may be but they give up because they aren't seeing any growth rapidly and no one should be expecting to just post one video and suddenly they're famous. It doesn't work like that. You have to put effort into it like it's a real job. And not only that, but if you are doing YouTube and you are making videos, you gotta make sure that you're not just posting one video every two years. Because while some people can grow like that, the only people I've really ever seen grow who post maybe one or two videos every few years, every few months, whatever it may be are those who like for the most part either already had a massive following are an animator or something along those sorts where they have a lot of editing in their content that makes it unique compared to others 
So you obviously can't post one video every three years, go on a hiatus and come back. You have to still post every so often or else your channel is going to hurt because you're basically neglecting it. And at the same time, you want to make sure this is a passion project and not something that you're just going to completely screw yourself over for. With that said, I hope this video could bring you some motivation, whether you're just trying to find motivation in general, if you're trying to start or continue a YouTube channel, and if you're one of my friends, hopefully this helped you out, hopefully it motivated you to finally making a YouTube video, I'm watching you! Well, with that said, if you enjoyed today's video, consider subscribing and post notifications enabled to never miss an upload, like the video if you liked it, dislike it if you dislike it, and I will see you champs and champettes next time. Peace out.